official first day in San Diego Comic Con. It's open to the public and I've already made, we've made a critical error. We bought a gimbal yeah. without the gimbal master Jan here. Yeah. So at some point during this video, things might just start spinning and being weird. I'm gonna try and move it down. It's pretty good. It seems like it's smooth. But interesting, yeah. So we've never been to Comic Con. Never been to San Diego before. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's very windy. You can probably hear it in this audio. Right. But it's it's been wild. It's because it's like we're so used to gaming events where it's like appointment after appointment, go see a game, interview a dev, and then run back to the studio and record something or film something. This feels very weird. Where it's just like a bunch of activations. Yeah. And it's You'll like you hear the word activation a lot. A lot, yeah. So yeah, and like cards on the table comic-con is built around tv shows and movies and given the recent events um there's not a lot going on it's been a while we've been to a couple of activations taking some pictures mm. um we have a few game things uh lined up like my panel tomorrow your panel well your panel is pinball today so pinball yeah jeff Bacalar just yeah i am in his this seat. is my entire kind of mo mo i'm gonna muscle jeff Bacalar out of everything he loves I'm starting Family. with pinball. Pinball. And then, hockey. Then I'm gonna steal Dylan. Yeah. And then I'm gonna start playing hockey and become the hockey guy at Giant Bomb. Mm -hmm. And before we know it, we won't need a Jeff Bacala. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like how to get your name into his name, Jeff. Tamakala. There, <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna carry on walking around. We're actually gonna go back to our home base, which is in uh, the Hilton Hotel. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check in again very soon. Bye everyone. So welcome to Jurassic Park. No. The noise I let out when I saw this. <laughs> and they have mango, which I've never had. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never we had mango. We're around each other, bro. Here, uh, and okay. I'm, I'm getting to grips with this. Yeah. This John Gimbal. The amount of times we've made a Detective a John Gimbal A fugitive joke yeah. with this thing is kind of unreal Gimbal! Yeah, yeah. I think you've mastered it Hello uh, it like I'm random. scared about how I look in 0.5 Oh, no, you look fine okay. You look great Fine! You look great, you look great No, no solid fingers <laughs> uh. Hello Can I make they do look quite long. Let me zoom out. Ooh. Zoom in. That's the 0.5. Yeah, there just, we yeah. go. It's only day one. Yesterday, day zero. Oh, it's day one. Yeah. 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 Bald man. And I said, oh, Walter White. <laughs> it, yeah, it, from a distance, it looked like he was wearing a bald cap. And then when I got close, it, my man was just. My it was man. Just follically challenged. Yes. Um, and then I panicked because I thought, oh no, this, this poor man, I've just accused him of being a Walter White cosplay. But then he was wearing the pink yeah. jumper and I googled and I was right. But you are there correct, was a moment yeah. where I felt very guilty. Uh, and then earlier this morning, walking to our hotel to get ready, because uh, we've got like hair and makeup and stuff here, Tam goes, snake! I immediately looked, looked the at the ground looking for it. You stopped as well, like well, to be like, oh my god, a snake. snake. You think, oh, we're in America. Yeah, we're in America. I don't know. Um, it's like the way cops treat someone else showing gun. Yeah. They like hit the ground. Lucy um, was snake, and it was actually just. It was just a guy dressed like guy that. Dressed as a snake, <laughs> naked snake actually. Oh, it was a naked. Yeah, it was naked snake. But you didn't I realize because that. you were looking at the ground, yeah, <laughs> looking for an actual slithering snake. There we go. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. So we've had two days technically we've been here and we're two for two on embarrassing moments. So just for me. Yeah, for yeah. you. Um, I mean, I had one where I forgot my pass. Yeah, time for guys' pass yesterday. Um, so we had to take a taxi back and then come immediately back. And then we went to Best Buy to get this uh, gimbal. Yeah, we had a great time. It was wonderful. All right, now we're going to go into our room. Our room. Which is very fun. Fancy. It's this one. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Sweet. No, it's not good. It's boring. Oh, yeah. There's actually the same room. We are here. Hello. Back. The same place we were in the previous. Vlog. In the videos. To two yeah. parts of this video. 
vlog, vlog that we fil filmed. What are we doing, Tim? Um, so we are currently walking to the actual convention center. So that <laughs> I don't understand it. Why is it doing this? <laughs> Where is Jan when you need him? <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, I think the thing that I really enjoyed is how quickly it yeah, It's just like, this thing is bored with us. Oh my god. Um, so my, the panel that I'm moderating is going to be starting very shortly. An hour. In an hour. But you get there, you got to set up. It's, it's, you know, it's SDCC, so it could take you an hour to walk there. This is really good cosplay. It's the guy from Up. Oh yeah. Can you, can you turn it around? Okay. I gotta get a, I gotta get a photo. Those are amazing. Oh, we can't. We can't oh, flip it. Can't flip it. Wait, 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 wait. Just turn it around. There we go. Yeah, 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 that's great. So I think what this camera is doing is like tracking. Oh, interesting. So like that's why it was like it, earlier I was talking to it. I was like, oh, listen. Oh, look at you. But yeah, so we're going to uh, get ready for my panel, which is Stern Pimble. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's like, oh, hello. This is it. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's done a little flip. <laughs> it did a little flip. <laughs> it did a little flip. Where is Jan? Jan, help me. Jan, why, why did you not come? <laughs> why is that? It's an disaster. <laughs> There's the infamous of Fall H. We can't oh, yeah. flip this camera around. We don't know how. I mean, it can flip itself around, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're walking our way there. Panel's about an hour. Yeah. Um, Q and A. Q and A are included, hopefully. Um, and then yeah, after that we we're done. No, we're not. We've got so much work to do. Oh yeah, we've got loads of we've stuff got to do. We've got audio logs to do, man. Yeah. I mean, like we're done with the panel. Yeah. Well, I'm done with the panel. I've got mine um, specifically. Yeah, yours is tomorrow. Yeah, so it's done the thing again. Like, <laughs> just really wants people to see more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, All right, we'll be back. <laughs> we have returned to the one place. To the one place we film whenever we do. Whenever we do one of these things. No struck productions around. No, here. Nothing here. It's clean. We're supporting the strike. Unions. Oh, oh, um, oh so cool. it's amazing. We just walked past the cosplay medic. Yeah, she was dressed like a, like an old timey nurse, like a Florence Nightingale, and she had cosplay written on. She fixes people's cosplay. Fixes that's people, so cool. that's very clever. Uh, we come back from Tam's panel. Yes, panel's done. It was oh, fun. It was really good. Like genuinely, I'm supposed to smoke up your ass. I don't give a shit about pinball. <laughs> I went to the Pinball Hall of Fame in Vegas and I played the Lord of the Rings game. Is it? Uh, and I had a fun time, but I don't know anything about pinball. I don't really know anything about Marvel. It was a lovely time. It was, it was good. It was enjoyable. They're like a lot of fun people yeah. on the panel. It was like the CEO was there and Brian, the game designer, who actually worked for Midway back in the day. And like the GB crew will appreciate this. Um, the Dudas. Uh, he actually worked on uh, PsyOps, the Mind Gate Conspiracy, which I know is a favorite amongst freaks like me. Um, and also Stranglehold, John Lewis Stranglehold for PS3, which is a launch battle. Um, so he might have been the one behind the jump on the carts and like shoot guns. But yeah, so they were really cool. And then we had um, Zach, who is like a, at one point was like the number one pinball yeah, player in the world. like teeing that up. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm sure this guy just has played a lot of pinball. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, he's like the pinball player, um, and he's like, he does Twitch streams and stuff, which really? is wild, yeah, really fascinating. And like, I, I was upfront, very clear about it. Like, I don't play a lot of pinball, but I respect game design, and I've got an interest in pinball. So people were like quite willing to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I've never done a panel before, so I think I've been we'll be doing on, more. I would love to do more. I, I'm gonna put a tweet. I've been like, hey, if you want me to do some more panels and maybe get a visa. Hook your boy up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What are we doing now? We are now gonna go back to our home base, which is very close to a place that sells Dole Whip. Not just any Dole Whip, they've got pineapple and mango. What a treat. Which is, that's gonna be our treat today. Yeah. And then we're gonna head back and we're gonna do a bit of work. We're covering Comic Con and doing work with the promises uh, of little treats. Little treats. And then tomorrow is gonna be the exciting Immortals of Avian panel hosted by Luke DJ. The bins that have just gone by. Yeah. San Diego is a stinky city. It does. It smell smells bad. so bad here. And I'm from London. Yeah. We and live in San Francisco. Yeah. I was. We were walking behind someone who 
Oh, I'm not being rude. I'm, I can say this because I've been there. We got a whiff of this person, and I know because I used to be a very large boy, and I still am, that kind of smell originates from under the fat folds. It was a fart. And... Yeah, that's, that's like under the fat fold smells. <laughs> oh, like, trust me. I've, I've, been, I've been attacked by those by myself, so I know those smells. So, you know the bit in the Jackass movie where there's the big hand and it comes around and smacks and uh, bam, just falls over like that. His legs literally do that. That was basically me getting hit by that smell. Yes. It was, I thought it was a fart. It, 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 it came as quickly as it went. But if you want smell watch on uh, San Diego Comic Con, day one, yeah. coming out swinging. That lad. Killer. Anyways, we're gonna go eat Dole Whip. Yeah. We'll be back soon. See ya. Bye. Alright, it's loud as hell, but we just left the, uh, the convention center yet again. Yeah. We got free stickers, come up to the DJ booth. That is not a Lincoln Park, that is not a sanctioned Lincoln Park. Uh, oh, this is what John was talking about. Yeah. So we just came about the uh, convention center. Uh, Lucy just did her panel. It was great. Super they let you keep the, let you keep the thing. It was about Immortals of Avium. It was fascinating. Um, both, I enjoyed it. We both crushed it. Yeah, we did good. We did, we did good. Now we are. We're going to reward ourselves with two things. Number one, we are going to the peanuts store. Oh no, that's the line. Oh, that line is. Jan, help well, me. Maybe we can come. Jan, help me. Maybe we can Jan. come back tomorrow. Jan, help me. <laughs> Look, oh. it's gone. Well, we're in it's this like, aspiration. We're, we're like flipped around now. <laughs> we're back. Snoopy store was a bust. The Snoopy the store was a big line. The line was way too big. So. Um, but it's okay. I think we can go back. We're going back there tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be there later as well. Oh, so. that Bebop poster. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a great cover oh, Bebop poster. Great. Um, yeah, so. We'll head back there, maybe later. We'll come back, hopefully the line's shorter. Mm -hmm. Or if not, we'll come back tomorrow. We've got for our little treat. We're going to a little treat. First of all, food. I have not eaten today other than a yeah. sad little croissant. Croissant? Because I was very anxious about the panel. I was, first of all, I was very anxious that no one would show up, but didn't need to worry about A lot about of people that. showed up. A lot of people showed up. Then I was anxious in case people showed up. Yep, and uh, they did. And they did. Sadly, one of the devs couldn't make it, so there was a lot of last minute retooling. Uh, that's been, how, how's your uh, ongoing evaluation of Comic-Con going? Um, well, the thing is, is that I feel like we're not actually properly doing Comic-Con because we're not going to the show floor if we can help it. Yeah. Um, I think we'll do one show I floor visit we'll tomorrow. To tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're going Funko. to Funko. Um, we're going to make Funkos of ourselves, which we have to try and catalog. Yes. With this yeah. godforsaken Gimble. haunted gimbal. It's the ghost of Janet. Yeah. yeah. He's like, you're trying to use a gimbal without me? Get yeah, fucked. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll we'll give you a little more of that yeah. tomorrow. Oh, we didn't really shoot anything at the party last night, but the party was fun. It was bumping. Fandom party. It's popping it's, off. It's popping off. They keep putting a giant bomb logo, massive one, on a giant screen. We've met, okay, the celebs we have met. Okay. We met Kim Joy from, from the, the Great Bake the great, great British Bake Off. We met Travis McElroy. Yes. I met Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal. I was on the red carpet just after the K-pop band. It, N NFT. NCT. Chelsea. What do they call it? We also met Chastity from Ubisoft and former Gamespot fame. Yes, former roommate Chastity. <laughs> it's uh, so weird. So it's like it's such a cool party, but it's like I mean, it feels too cool for us. It feels too cool, yeah. NCT is about. Look at this. NCT is going on any minute now, and people are going to lose their shit. So NCT in the UK is like a neonatal group for kids. Yeah. So it's very not weird. Here. Not here. Over here, K-pop. All right. We're going to jump back into this and try not to get crushed by fans of NCT. We've done a shit job of vlogging this, and we're sorry. We'll do better. we still got a couple more days. Goodbye. Everyone was 
like, oh yeah, this is just my San Diego Comic Con parties and like, and I was like, I'm too British. It's terrible, for this. terrifying. But it was fun. It was yeah. really fun. And uh, there will be more fun. Hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow. Which we'll see you again soon. Goodbye, everyone. I mean, in the video, we can literally see us in like, in like a second. second. We're back in the one place that we record all of our videos. Time you're holding this is two fingers. It's I've very... given up. I'm now, I've okay. given up on the gimbal and I'm using God's gimbal, my hand. Okay? Might need to, like, some kind of stabilizer on this. <laughs> God's gimbal requires stabilizer. <laughs> um, yeah, so we didn't really, it's weird. Though. In, in, in avoiding like anything struck and like anything like yeah. that could potentially indicate that we're crossing the lines and not supporting the writers, which we very much do. And the actors. We, and actors, yeah. We've, we've ended up just recording in the same places over and over again because it's just like, don't want to do that. But I will yeah. say, yesterday though, we did meet <clears throat> Kelly Hu and Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, so we had, Jamie Lee Curtis came in first and talked about the comic so, they're doing. Had a rider sent, but she didn't even know she, she didn't had know, a rider yeah. sent. Like the PR people sent her groceries. It was like she a was like, box of Ritz crackers, and I was like, I respect that. And she, then she when, didn't even know. She was like, that's creepy. What yeah. the fuck? And we then, were like, oh, we got your groceries. And she was like, what the? That's not my shit. And then someone was like, it is ours. Um, that was great. Yeah. And she was like, what a delight. A delightful person. She's got a graphic um, novel coming out, so she's yeah. promoting that. She was very, very charismatic. And then we had Ed Boone and Kelly who come through before the panel yeah. um, and talked about uh, Kelly being in Mortal Kombat again as Lee May. Yeah. Um, so we talked to them obviously just about Mortal Kombat. And I did not bring up Martial Law. Martial Law, her starring role. Incredible series. Which? With Sam Hong. Oh my god. Just Have you ever seen Martial Law? You gotta but watch it's that. Unbelievable. You gotta watch it. Um, um, yes, yeah, sir. Also. Just looks incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, what well, a woman in, indeed. Got a picture with uh, Kelly Hu, Ed Boone, and Jamie Lee Curse. Yeah, because Ed Boone was very excited that Jamie Lee Curse was there. And Kelly Hu was like, we'll get a picture. And Ed was like, nah, nah, nah. And Kelly Hu was like, oh, we'll get a picture. And the moment Jamie Lee Curtis appeared, Kelly was in there. She was oh, yeah. like, can we get a picture? Well, no, so, someone, from someone was like, Warner yeah. Brothers was like, oh, hey, yeah. I know you're a big gamer. Do you know Mortal Kombat? You know Mortal Kombat? And she was like, of course I know Mortal Kombat. <laughs> And he was like, that guy created it. And Ed is, like, Ed is the sweetest man. He's like, being all shy and stuff. Uh, it's like, yeah, I created the game where you impale people and see their organs explode. Um, yeah. Um, so today we've just been to the Tekken place. Yeah. Tam just interviewed Hot Shots. Michael. Michael Murray. Yeah. It was um, good. Fun. Very good interview. Then we are seeing the Lego Blockbuster at 12.30. Yeah, we've got a Batman Arkham AR game that we're going to check out, we which is, sounds interesting. Sounds awesome. Uh -huh. We're going to see, talk to the Star Wars Outlaws team, uh -huh. and then we're going to go support a good friend, Chastity, who uh, is moderating their panel. Oh, yeah, that's going to be our day at some point. I think we might stop for Dole Whip. We were, uh, we are, because I need my little treat. We, in, we were informed yesterday you could mix the mango and pineapple Dole Whip yeah. into one, like, Uber Dole Whip. Yeah, the, um, that was, uh, Deck Nine Expanse oh, Team. Oh, yeah, Expanse Team told us that, and we were like, oh, my so. God. Um, but, yeah, but well, first up, we have coffee. Yeah. Well, it's very I'm early. dying. I'm dying. So, like, this is the most hydrated I've ever been. And my hotel is nice. No shade to my hotel, but it is an old period hotel that they can't change too much which is why i have like the haunted elevator um the thing with my hotel is that like despite my aircon being set to 64 it feels a lot warmer yeah all right we are not in the place where we usually are we're in a different busy place we're down in the gas lamp district yeah i'm using god's gimbal again we're by super henry's pub Anything? Oh, okay, cool. So um, we just saw the coolest thing at Comic Con. Easily the coolest thing easily at Comic Con. The thing Comic -Con. Um, so it's like the Arkham it's, Asylum Files. Yeah, it's a thing. board game that has AR components that they kept saying it's not gimmicky, and we were like, okay. And then they started playing it, and it is not gimmicky. So it's it's really hard to describe, but it's like you have a board game. So you have a big a big box. Yeah. And inside the box, it is basically Harley Quinn's filing cabinet. And each kind of puzzle within the board game is its own file. And then there's elements of it where you are building Gotham City, like physically. Pieces of it. Pieces of Out Gotham of like City. pieces. 
from the board game. And then you use your phone or tablet to scan it and then using the AR like the yeah. city comes to life and you, yeah, and it's you like, zoom in and you try and find puzzles and you're solving stuff. And it's not like I'll oh, just scan it and you're done. It's like the game like Harley or the Joker or someone would appear and there are in videos, voice, there's videos, it's voiced, it's like music. sequences, music, there's like voice acting. It genuinely feels like a kind of amalgamation of video game, board game and AR. And the, they've got like some tracking tech in there that does that. Like, it's we're moving really stuff cool, around. yeah. The annoying thing about AR is like you put a dragon in your room and the moment you move it like it fl blips it in and out yeah. and like that kind of stuff. But like this stuff is very flat oriented. It's not like trying to make you walk around this giant thing. But it's like very flat. It means that they can like create a portal into like a cutscene or like a, yeah. a video sequence and like there's puzzles in there that generally genuinely like uh, are amazing where it's like find this stuff puzzle memory puzzles and the whole thing is like anarchy is the main villain bikers anarchy is the main villain yeah. and uh he's kind of like getting up to no good in gotham and harleen's in there and she's like she's a doctor again she's a doctor she's trying to figure out what's going on with anarchy um, and you're just kind of there playing you are the part of yeah, facilitating it. Solving and, puzzles. Yeah, and they have these really cool cards which are like Rorschach yeah. tests. Can I can I do so? so cards on the table. Mm -hmm. We booked this appointment because it's Batman. Yeah, I, we just wanted to see Batman. Had so. no idea who these people were. No. These are the people who made the Why So Serious ARG. ARG for, and they also yeah. made the Year Zero ARG for Nine Inch, Nine Inch Nails. Nails yeah. And if that doesn't mean anything to you. It should. Go look yeah. it up. This is like some next level yeah, shit. And, and, and that like, was one of the coolest things I've ever yeah. seen. They're also like, they were former Imagineers for yeah, Disney. Yeah, uh, uh, someone uh, that did the Indiana Jones ride at Disney. Yeah, the, like, they were like, oh, she's a rocket scientist and genuine genius. And then we learned that she actually like designed the Indiana Jones at Disney yeah. um, ride. And yeah, it's, it's crazy, but like, it's hard to really describe it because it is yeah. something genuinely new and different in a, and it uses AR in a way that we haven't seen before so there is a way of, like, yeah not, this is this is a it. good example of the idea that they're going for this this is so see the world like me.com yeah and if you use any US, US dollar, dollar bill. bill you can experience it this sounds like it sounds like a plug it's it sounds not, like it's just it's, it's not it's so very cool. cool so like they showed us with a dollar bill that can you show it to the camera like it's got like a joker on it but they said like if you as long as you just go to the website and you have a dollar bill available it basically is a preview of the game using the dollar bill yeah. and i would recommend doing it because it like we said they were they were like they were quite humble about it but they were like we think this is really cool technology yeah. apple are asking us how we're doing it yeah. and i was like yeah everyone says that and then they started showing us how the game works and i was like i cannot wait to play this yeah. So, um, so basically in terms of like Comic-Con for us has been such a weird show. I think we've said that in every little vlog that we've yeah. done. It's like, wow, what a weird show. That was one of the, that was like one of the experiences where I'm like, oh, you go to Comic-Con to see cool shit. Yeah, cool shit. And that was it. That was it. That it's was genuinely. Weird, it's in like a random it's like Airbnb. A random, it's not yeah. even on the show floor. No, no. And yeah, it's from a company called Infinite Wormholes or Infinite something. I'm going to, I'm going to screw this up. It's not raining anyway. It's not raining anyway. <laughs> but they're, they are a, a uh, basically a team of like super creatives and this is something like I I think I'm gonna go home and definitely try and get one and and play it and maybe we'll like film something around it yeah, maybe even should. get like Jan involved and oh, do Jan something on Jan bomb yeah yeah but yeah incredible go to that website and check it out I, th I thought it was amazing yeah. hopefully you will too and now we're gonna go get made into Funko Pops we saw one that came up a second ago that looks exactly I, I like Dan Reichert I, th like... I think he was actually pretty short there, there he is <laughs> All right. All right. We can do yours. We'll do mine. We'll do yours first. Okay. Get started. Do you want me to film? Yeah. You can be fully immersed in the experience of popping. Pop thyself. Oh, I skin color first. Hello, sir. Uh... <laughs> mm, not in between. I'll, I'll go with that one. Probably, probably brown, brown town. Okay, what hair do I do? Okay. Remember when you had long hair? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to bring, bring it back. Bring that back. I'm trying to bring it back. Oh my god. How did I know that? Kind of looks like me. I think that looks like you. This one? Yeah. Let's see what else I have. You have a beard. 
Yeah, I don't think you can do beards. Yeah, you can. Does it let you? Long hair, short hair, hats. Oh, maybe maybe it's on the next slide. <laughs> next slide. Next slide, please. I don't think that hair is not quite. I think this is more appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. I I thought the other one, but I'm, yeah. I'm into it. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah. yeah, there he is. Yeah. Glasses. I don't wear my glasses, so don't shame me. I'm gonna shame you a little bit. There we go. Hang wait. It's probably this one, right? Let's see? That's where it usually gets to. Yeah. So, I think that's most likely. Outfits. Okay. Alright. In another life, in a you lawyer, graduating from life. uni. <laughs> yeah. This also looks like a lawyer's kind of British lawyer's approach. Oh. Where are any of this stuff? Um, the rep from Funko just gave us the uh, the walkthrough, and they had my exact outfit from yeah. yesterday. So I think I'll just be making myself. <laughs> oh, I feel like uh, that's probably the closest to something. Yeah, you have that, that outfit. Yeah. Shorts, because you shorts, become a shorts I'm, I'm, I'm shortsman right now. Just my shorts. He's that person. Yeah, I'm that guy. He's a shorts guy. What about sh shorts? Can you change no, your shoes? You don't wear flip-flops. Yeah, I don't wear flip-flops. No one there even sees my feet. No, I'm not. I'm wearing basketball shorts. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Uh, what? what? <laughs> Accessory one. Gamer. Accessory too. Is there a cat? Gamer. It's money. Are you being a double gamer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can change something around, aren't you? I got money and I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm truly one of one. Because we all know gamers don't have money. You got a little handbag, a little chain. Rock and ho uh, not rock and horse, but you know what horse things. Bowling ball. You love bowling. I do love bowling. Too. Ice cream. Ice cream. Cards, mic, headphones, a phone. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with money. Yeah. And money's good. Alright. Name me a pop. Go on. What should we do? Probably just my name. Probably, probably your name. Probably my good name. start. You can do your online handle to more H. Truly one of one. I'll just do that. Can you pull the pose? Sorry for the ask, uh, for the flip, but everyone, everyone, turn to your side. There we go. I think it's pretty good. Well, oh, you can write a message on the back too. Can I? Yeah. Oh, maybe you write that with pen. I don't know. I don't think you can do on this, but there you go. I guess you write it and then yeah. give it to yourself. Your name. Please don't film my phone number. <laughs> oh yeah, hang on. I'll film over here. So um, we came to the Funko Pop booth. I'm speaking quietly, there are Funko representatives around me. Funko agents. Funko agents. And um, Corey Feldman is doing a signing. So Corey was also at our party, which I didn't realize because apparently he turned up like 10 minutes before the end. Uh, so I missed him, but we just walked past him. And it feels, it feels wild. And a body. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Miko keep, time. Keep, keep this down so you don't accidentally I don't dox you. But. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting a Miko. Can you customize the cats? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. That's probably the closest to Miko yeah. we're getting. I don't think there's a peanut. That's kind of peanut-y. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Alright, let's go Miko. Okay. okay. This is the most Jimmy most I've ever been excited about uh, Funkos. Ooh. Ooh. All right, now receipts in there, pal. Now she is. All right. What the hell is that? Oh, I yeah, guess oh, that's just all every, the every every right, right, component right. of it. Okay. Right now, she'll go. Pop your peeps. Well, I'm pale.
I mean, um, nail that. So there, there's been this um, Walter White cosplayer. I've seen three. <laughs> Following <different>. you around. <laughs> um. A little, a little more wavy. My hair's brown, but it's wavier. Is there anything wavier? That's, that's just that's just fancy. Much, yeah. Actually, I mean, if it didn't have the braids, braids that would be it. Yeah. That would be me. Um, well, like, 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 Well, maybe. Wolf cut. Actually, maybe, no, maybe. The, yeah, the next one. Yeah, I, I don't have sideburns, but I do have. I think that's that one. the one. That's yeah. me. In a brown. Dark brown. Okay. Next. Glasses. I don't wear my glasses often enough. Yeah. To really put them on, but the Joker is here. Probably. Maybe that was Corey Feldman. Glasses on him. I don't think that's an option, Sandy. Okay, so. Okay, your outfit. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. That one's for you, Jen. Um, so, literally. So the outfit you wore so yesterday. yesterday the outfit I wore yesterday was a white shirt with a denim jacket, and then I wore a long black skirt. <laughs> we'll put an image <laughs> so you can compare, but that's genuinely an outfit that, that I wear. That is alarmingly accurate to you. <laughs> I feel like your hair should go up one more shade of brown. Oh, it looks like they've gone back to black, to quote yeah. Amy Winehouse. That's, uh, too, that's too much. Too much. Go back to the other brown now. Maybe it's figured it out. Uh, but then, black oh, and brown seem to be the same. A fundamental flaw here. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I'll keep. Mm, I, I should go to the brown. I'm brown. Yeah, I think brown's probably. That's too light. That's not. Yeah, that doesn't. I feel like if you choose black, it's inaccurate, but, but it's mean, closer overall. Yeah, I feel like that looks more like you. also that I like pressed you. the brown. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's she gonna get? Coffee? Only one before 3 p.m. Yeah. You gotta have a controller, come on. I know, but I'm just seeing if there's anything. Controller and black uh, flowers, roses. I'm a gamer, but I'm at a funeral. <laughs> I'm a gamer who's going to the black parade. I just want to see what most of these look like. A bowling ball. An entire cake. Let's burger. Do it. burger. Sad burger that sad I had burgers. last night. I yeah. had a, I'm a drummer. Little drummer girl. Oh, laptop. That's pretty good. I, I do. You do, I, you do have a laptop I and you do, do use it. I have a laptop. Laptop and phone? I feel like phone and controller. Yeah, I can't exist without my phone, can I? Despite attempts. Wine, it's gotta be wine. Wine and controller. You look like you're gonna smash someone over their head with that. I might. Yeah, wine and controller. I am a gamer, <laughs> but I am also a wine out. I'm gonna do my brand, man. Yeah. Lucy James got. Yeah. Why did you sound like Trump? <laughs> I did everything right. I did everything right. And, and my hair color was wrong. And my hair color was wrong. Oh, back when oh, I do. You need a, you need a Miko. Look good. That looks great. It's the wine that really makes uh, the, it. The wine is like. Okay, don't don't dox me. I love that laugh. <laughs> I love that laugh. Baby. Is that boss baby or just a random baby? That's just a random baby. Oh, no. You didn't do this, so you didn't get the decals. Yeah, I don't, I don't need stickers. I think it gives you one by default anyway. Indie pop culture. Nerdy. I feel um, by default. Nerd. It's a big nerd sticker. Jersey. This is too much. It's too much. Um, is that yes. peanut? Oh. No, I think the next one. I think I feel like that's as close as you're gonna get. Yeah. 
color wise. It's, it's the, the blue. Means, it's but... the blue eyes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Buddy one. We did it. We it did is done. Funko. Made Funko. Get your reams of receipts. CVS. Nice. There I am. There you are. And now we have to just hand these in. Do we just get one? And then well, we, it, says, it, it delivers it to us. It says complete your purchase. Oh, I'm not paying for this. I'm not doing all that. Uh, Alright. But it's been fun. Yeah, it's been, it has been fun co. Well, up. We're here on the show floor at San Diego Comic Con 2023. We thought we'd do a little walk around the hall, see what's there. We've obviously found the gamers, the gaming stuff. This is a very cool Cyberpunk 2077 yeah. poster. I'm not sure if it's available to buy. It's but for I'm... the new comic book, I believe. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, let's, That's let's a good start cover. a walk around. This is going to be an interesting exercise in how many people we're going to get bumped into yeah. or get stuck behind. But we'll make it work. This is the Dark Horse booth. Mm -hmm. uh, we started it. It's right next to Viz, so they have all the Junji Ito stuff and the Lego Brick Buster. So we're kind of in the middle of everything. Yeah. But obviously, we saw Cyberpunk and we were like, well, we're well, zeroing in on him. Cyberpunk and Maximum Trigon, you got to give Ash's respect. Check out the new anime. It's very good. Um, but yeah, we're going to go round and see what else we can see on the Dark Horse. There's obviously uh, a lot of uh, renewed interest in Cyberpunk because Phantom Liberty is coming out very yeah. shortly. They have oh, the brand new... That is a very good Edge Runners. Oh, that is... Oh, no, yeah. I want that. That is very nice. I love that. So, yeah, we had obviously had Edge Runners. Yeah, if you know that moment, you're probably crying right now. But, yeah, there's uh, the art yeah. book for Cyberpunk. There's some Witcher stuff. But this is the new Phantom Liberty oh, statue there. of Solomon Reed. Solomon Reed. Immediate. Uh, coming out and yeah this brand new Yennefer of, yeah, Yennefer uh, the Kunoichi oh, damn man, they got a Kunoichi weird. version of uh, of Yennefer that's awesome that looks really cool obviously Dark Horse pointing out some awesome figures known for their high quality figures and designs devastatingly the skate deck is sold out oh no skate deck is sold out hate to see it alright well we're just going to we be go. walking around and seeing what catches our eye yeah uh, there's a Mattel over there. There is a big Godzilla thing. Godzilla. The, here there be dragons. Here there be I mean, big Godzilla. Always. Uh, that's his thing. There is a signing for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I think that's the Kevin Eastman signing. Oh. So Kevin Eastman is here somewhere, um, which makes perfect sense. But I heard someone walking by earlier and go, going, I'm going to the Kevin Eastman signing. I was like, oh, damn, Kevin Eastman's here. Um, of course, folks will know Kevin Eastman, but if you don't know, one of the creators of... Ninja Turtles, or the creator of Ninja Turtles. Over the years, there's obviously been less of a Marvel presence at San Diego Comic Con, but that is definitely not true on the comic side. We've got the yeah. official Marvel store here too. Uh, we've got stuff for the Marvels. Let's take a look at what they got. What they got going on? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that is a very good Joel statue. Yeah. That is an extremely good Joel. Statue. It is not Pedro Pascal, sadly, but we got the game version of uh, Joel and Abby here. Another Dark Horse joint. You love to see it. This is very cool. The people are just rocking up, coloring bits coloring of in, the uh, art. Avatar. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I want to color that in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We should go into this because... Oh, the Berserk stuff is in there. So... Yes, let's go into this. I'm, I'm co-opting this. We're going to Berserk. Let's go. I have a Berserk tattoo, so... Yeah, no, yeah come on. Berserk fans here. Currently, this is the most comfortable flooring of the, uh, of the uh, con. I like it, it feels plush. It's supporting my feet, but also it's giving me a little bit of you know freedom to move around. Uh, I give this carpet a eight out of 10. Good job, Dark Horse. Uh, I'm zeroing in because I can see Berserk. Berserk, let's go. Oh, I can see Guts. There we go, here we go. They're bookends by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, Guts and Griffith, bookends. Makes perfect sense. Oh. Oh man. Oh. That noise I just made. Ugh. Yeah, that was a that was a legitimate yeah. noise from Tomorrow. <laughs> so we've got the Berserk Guts and Griffith bookends. They're on the wait list already. They're two hundred and fifty dollars. Look at my boy. So these are uh, these um, premium editions of the Berserk manga are very expensive, and I have everyone released so far, which I believe is 
13 or 14 and uh, let me tell you I keep them on one shelf one shelf and it's a hardwood shelf that shelf now is bent in the middle because of the weight of all of them together so these things are thick they are very very high quality and I feel like I have no choice but to buy these bookends so that they match the premium quality of the actual Berserk mangas. Yep. Um, currently, they're just kind of like stuffed into a corner, but yeah. So Dark Horse is really they're just going in. zeroing in on what Tam and I especially Love. enjoy. Because we've got Dragon Age over here, oh, no. and we've got Mass Effect oh. over here. I'm making a lot of noises that are out of context. And we've got Dune, Cyberpunk, oh. Witcher. Where oh, wow. Okay, where to begin? Let's start with... The Adam Smasher statue is really cool. Okay, so this is the brand oh, new Liara figure. Liara. And this is, oh, that, I want that Garrus. I have another Garrus from the yeah, original Yeah, looking over store. the uh, cover. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. But then we've got, oh, we've got a Judy figure. Judy, Judy here. here. We've got the Solomon Reed. We've got Pan Am. I mean, Pan and Am. of course, the big Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. I, I really like that Garrus. Actually, the, uh, these are good. The Reapers are really good. Sovereign's really good. Sovereign's really good. I like that. No, uh, no Thane, which is disappointing. Thane uh, always gets left behind. Thane gets left out. Uh, Thane and uh, Zaid, no love for them. Oh, here we go. We've got Duncan Idaho. We've got Jessica. We've got Paul. I still love the fact that oh, Paul. that is Zendaya looks very amazing. good. Gurney. And of course, Gossar Raven. Yeah, oh, that man. is a very good Batista yeah. approximation. So we've got we've got regular Witcher, and then we've got the Netflix version of Witcher. Yeah, um, there's some AC stuff down there, but no yeah. figures. I imagine they're gonna update that with all the stuff from the new Assassin's Creed. From the Creed brand new Assassin's out. Creed. But I have yeah. spied. We've got Last of Us over here as well. Oh, Abby's already sold out. Abby's yeah. gone. It's a great statue, though. It's yeah. a big one. That wow, is an amazing look at clicker that in the middle. Clicker. Does it come with the spinning thing? That's all I want to know. Almost certainly not. No. Which is a shame, but you know. Two versions you of You could Joel. probably buy your own one third party. Mm -hmm. And then over here as well, we've got Dragon Age. Let's go. Bioware, teasing me for Bioware. years with the promise of, of an, Dragon Age. Of something to follow up Dragon, Inqui Dragon Please, Age Inquisition. Please, uh, just a crumb Please. of Dragon Age for us. You can't drop a giant cliffhanger like that and then leave us hungry for years. Once again, Everyone's favorite no egg. love for lead scout harding not a single lead scout harding figure we got solus everyone loves solus where's lead Are scout you, harding i mean solus there's a lot going on with solus okay. solus has got a lot going on but i feel like lead scout harding deserves a little bit of respect to round out the dark horse booth avatar the last not that bin. one this one the good one this is a very good ang that's a that very egg. good ang. They got a Cora oh, here. Of Korra. I'm not seeing any Uncle Iroh, so I am a little disappointed. Uncle Iroh's. I want Uncle Iroh sitting underneath the tree with leaves from the vine. Oh, you just want like, to be. I just want the saddest figure the known to man. I want to look at it and just feel tears rolling down my cheek. So this is this is what I foresee to be the issue, is that it's like being in a casino. You mm -hmm. know, you have a, an end goal in mind. And then you get sidetracked. Yep. So now let's actually go to Marvel. Let's go to Marvel. She said casino, what she means is Ikea. I love Ikea though. That's my problem. <laughs> so Jenna, this is our first Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah. Busyness wise, I was expecting more of a crush. Yeah. And I'm honestly very glad that that's not the case. Yeah, that isn't good. But the other thing that I like about SDCC is obviously most cons are built around buying stuff and spending money and you get some conventions that are very focused on that to little else whereas SDCC it feels like if you're just here just to look around you get to see plenty of cool things you could choose not to spend any money while you're here and still leave having had a fulfilling experience because of the sights and sounds and people you might run into which is kind of like my first takeaway from my first San Diego Comic Con which is awesome. There it is. Visual the great... Marvel Store. There's also a big name up there that I'm very interested in. Alex Ross Alex is here. Alex Ross. Alex uh, Ross, big artist, enough to have his own booth. <laughs> legend, huge presence. Yeah, if you don't know, just Google Kingdom Come and enjoy the artwork. All right. Back pain Batman. An Alex Ross special. Let's have a look. Naturally, the Marvel booth is quite packed. 
Um, we had the debut of the Marvels. The line is capped, everyone. So this, this booth is uh, mainly around buying uh, cool new t-shirts. You see all the way up there, there's like a bunch of awesome designs. Oh no. Um, the Venom unisex tee is no doubt going to be extremely important. That one is exclusively the uh, amazing, the Marvel Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac version of the uh, Venom logo, which is cool. Um, there's a Spider-Punk tee shirt there as well. Hot off the success of Spider-Verse. What else we got? The ladies fit Miss Marvel, just in time for uh, the announcement that Miss Marvel, the series from Disney Plus, is gonna be available on standard cable. Good show, check it out. What else have we got? I mean, I got a little bit of ACDC going on. <laughs> so I assume sure something Iron Man related. I mean, technically they might be, they are Marvel canon, right? Because uh, Tony Stark. Uh, we've got a signing with Andy Park, Marvel Andy Studios Park Director there, yeah. of Visual Development. Yeah. We've got some costumes from the Marvels. My, and then uh, my favorite the Final Fantasy IX character, Vivi, is here apparently. Okay. I'm a... Woo! Let's go! Here we have it, look. You can see some awesome Alex Ross artwork. Look at that. It's my goal in life to be able to afford an Alex Ross or a Jim Lee yeah. original. Alex Ross, obviously, a very distinct style, which is kind of realistic, but without giving up any of the colorful and exaggerated qualities of superhero character designs. You can look at them and they look almost like 3D renders. They look realistic, but at the same time, their iconic looks are fully intact. Um, Alex Ross is a, a once in a lifetime kind of talent and uh, it is genuinely a pleasure to like see his stuff, um, whether you're reading it or just seeing it live in person. We are now approaching Todd McFarlane's zone. Oh, this is again another place where I'm going to be holding back on spending money. Lucy is of course a big fan of Spawn. She loves Spawn. No, but there is always like one figure that I'm like, what if I just bought that? And then that's how it spirals. Yeah. It's, uh, you, you, you had half the thought there. It's what if I just bought that? What and if then I didn't just went all in on Spawn? That's what you mean. I mean, the, the top McFarlane figures especially carry a premium price, but you get what you pay for, which is a cool figure. It looks like this is mostly for just posters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it is very spawn focused, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, I know we're kind of moving the other way uh, from the Mondo booth, but you know, Attack Pizza's there. They're going to have some good artwork on sale too. Yeah. And I'm I'm tempted, everyone. I am tempted. Tempted. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis's booth is over there. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis has a graphic novel. She uh, yeah. actually came and spoke to us about it. Yeah. So if you check out fandom. You'll see a little interview with Jamie Lee Curtis about her brand new graphic novel. She was an absolute delight, by the way. A presence. Presence radiated. All right, we're, our North Star for the rest of this uh, tour is going to be Diablo and Star Wars Outlaw, mm -hmm. which is on the far end. Um, oh, whoa. And I almost got stabbed. Sometimes you get stabbed by a golden samurai stormtrooper, which is baller. Love to see it. No, that's what I wanted. Some really high quality cosplay. I'm sorry, there's a Rick and Morty manga. The most ambitious crossover in history. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. We got Garfield. Oh no, it's Garfield. There's always a Garfield. A dark omen. The harbinger, the harbinger of the apocalypse. Of doom. Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> Um, I did see there is this. Oh, I can see some peanuts. Okay, I'm um, sorry, everyone. I know we, we are, were heading to Diablo, but we are now we gonna are go going to go look at the Snoopy stuff peanuts. because um, apparently Snoopy's having a big moment at this year's Comic Con. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Uh, all right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We'll get some Joe Cool action. 
I'm all about the Red Baron. Red right Baron? Now. Red Baron? Red Baron. All right. Let's go. Uh, Coheed and Cambria. Coheed and Cambria? Did you say Cambria like Cambridge? Cambridge? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that mostly to upset Coheed and Cambria fans. <laughs> and oh. Oh, this is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damage is being inflicted on wallets. Ah, uh, okay, so what do we got? We've got, we got uh, t shirts, we've got, we've got zine, the lanyards. T shirts. Do out. they have the cantina? They, oh, the cantina sold out. Yeah. Bandana sold out, trucker hat sold out. They yeah, got a compass. That's devastating. Oh, Super 7 figure though. Well, there is a Super 7 booth over there, which we can go yeah, uh, take a look out at. on the way back, maybe. So, uh, let's head to Diablo. I think what, maybe we might have a more success kind of heading down this way yeah. without everyone uh, in the main concourse. But it is alarming how much there is. Like, I'm, I, I feel like I can't concentrate. Yeah, it's overwhelming. ADHD is just firing on all the cylinders right now. Cartoon 50th, 50th anniversary of uh, Camp Snoopy, which is why uh, my boy's having such a little moment here. We've got some Artist Alley stuff. Uh, Kong Lao walking by, love to see it. Love a good Kong Lao costume. What you got? Sorry. You guys read comics or manga? All of it, Both. everything. Everything, too much. You, you know about the Calico? No. Calico makes the Punisher look like Gandhi. Oh, damn. If you love animals, you hate animal abuse, this is it right here. That's the guy? Calico. All right. Uh, we're we are, in the middle of shooting tour, something, so but to, thank you, though. We'll That's the uh, Comic One equivalent of Please Buy My Mixtape. Um, nah. Here's something that's very surprising to me. Disney not getting on that. Oh, are you snitching? I'm not Be snitching. Careful. I'm just Don't saying I'm. At Comic -Con. I'm just saying I'm surprised. <laughs> We're making our way there. Making our way downtown. Oh, I, oh, wait. Uh, this person was at oh, yes. uh, 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 Crunchyroll anime, Expo last yeah, year. Crunchyroll Expo. Because I saw that uh, JoJo the poster. The JoJo poster. And yeah. it was awesome. So actually, there's probably going to be a lot of those people that we saw at Anime Expo last year. Yeah. Um, the people who I. I bought a bunch of stuff last year, finally got it framed. Yes. So that means it is time for me to get more artwork more. that will sit in tubes until I get it framed in six <laughs> months time. There was one person at uh, Crunchyroll Expo that I've been trying to find who did artwork, really stylized, really nice artwork of just Japanese convenience stores like Family Mart, 7-Eleven, and it was so nice. I regret not buying them while I was there. I want to look out for them, keep an eye out for them. This is also the most dangerous part for me, which are the figures. I don't have a lot, but I'm always looking for that to change. All right, we're gonna quickly call out. Oh, some figures. you see, there's already an Okami figure, and it's sixty dollars, which is. Oh, that is a uh, laser targeted. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. That is a good one as well. We might have to come back for that. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, take a note of where this booth is. Might have is. to come back from that. Uh, we've awesome. got some JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yep. We got Caesarino. Caesarino. Oh, we got the One Piece stuff here. We got yeah. Trafalgar Law, Shanks, the Shanks, as they call them. See, this is where it gets dangerous. So I'm, I'm going to make the elective yeah. decision to move us along. Oh, there's an Armor King there as well. Dang. So I think we've mentioned this before, but very strong gaming presence. Yeah. Which is traditionally hasn't been historically um, a, a big thing, but well, there it feels has been like, gaming stuff. But yeah, it there feels was gaming like stuff, but I feel year. like it's slowly like the the ratio of like other stuff to gaming stuff is is uh, improving. The gamers are rising up. The gamers are truly rising up. So up there, number one bad dad in all of fiction. If you had enough sand and you look threw it at Darth Vader's face, it would get in the ventilation system and kill him. I'm sorry, look at these shelves groaning under that the is, weight that is of exactly, Funko Pops. That is exactly how my Berserk shelf is at home. Exactly look like at that. that. And Funko Pops don't weigh that much. Yeah. That much. Sorry. 
it's, it's weighed down by the emotional energy put into each Funko Pop. Oh, Display. Um, this sent me an email, actually. Uh, I think Display did like a bunch of Disco Elysium stuff that I really oh, wanted yeah. for a long time. I've had one Display in my life, and it's been very good. It was a Metal Gear Solid 3 Display. Oh, get me away from this booth. Look at that giant Catwoman statue. I want it. Everyone loves a bit of Selena. Ms. Kyle. All right, we're heading up to the Star Wars Outlaws booth. Yeah. Over to the left here, we have everyone's favorite. Oh, we've actually demonic got... Demonic Mama, Lilith. Here she is. Uh, we've got Diablo. We have Exo Primal. Um, Capcom has a booth too. Capcom does have a booth here. Uh, this is the Comic Con is where they have Rashid playable for the first time. Rashid being the next uh, Street Fighter VI, the latest Street Fighter VI DLC character. Um, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind is now Rashid of the Twitch.com TV. He's a streamer now. Oh, okay. All his uh, quips are streaming based, which is uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, he plays he plays for well. Every now and then uh, someone sees the fandom logo and is like, nice. Yeah. We've also got little Astro Dragon Boy. Ball basketballs. It's pretty cool. Dra oh, welcome to Hell Comic Con. All right. That's, uh, that's what they're going with. That's their logo. Okay, look at oh, this. Oh, wait, we've got the Blizzard Gear Store as well. Oh, no, the Blizzard Gear Store. What are we working with? Yeah, we've got the Pachimari from Overwatch 2. Yeah, a classic. I have that Diablo 4 candle. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it smells pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, we've got we've Funkos got for a few Overwatch, Overwatch 2 heroes. Reaper, Obviously, Cassidy. the big push is Diablo, Diablo 4 yeah. just came out. Uh, so, we can't go in there because the line is huge, but I did uh, speak to someone at Blizzard who told us they're basically recreating the opening sequence, the cutscene from Diablo uh, 4. If you remember, the one where Lilith kind of comes out and is like draped, is uh, like uh, her wings behind her, and it looks awesome. Um, I would love to be in there for that, but that, that line is very long. Yeah, just by being British, we're not doing the Q thing Yeah, here. we're not doing that. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws, uh, we're shooting this on the Saturday. The panel for that is this afternoon. Uh, we're very excited to go see it. Uh, Chastity Vicentio is, uh, is moderating that one, but they have this really cool, uh, like, filmable thing. You get to yeah. ride on a speed Jump bike. on a speeder. <laughs> There it is, the great Capcom in the sky. Pilgrimage continues. Bit of Naruto Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm connections. I think she means Boruto and Boruto's dad. Thank you. Of course, I don't know what of I was course. thinking. What were you thinking? Um, Exo Primal. Oh, there's the Exo Primal. Exo Primal obviously out now mm -hmm. on Game Pass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's go around that way. It looks like yeah. there's figures down there for Capcom stuff. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Just a bunch of bait t-shirts. Which is cool. Oh, big sticker store. Go this way. Do you want to... Yeah, which way are we going? Are we going... Let's look at Capcom booth and then head off. Okay. Yeah. Tip, why not? Okay. All right. I have been told that there's some very cool Capcom figures here, or statues, so I just oh. want to have a quick look. And I was informed correctly, look at that Akuma. Or Goki, if you're a uh, purist. Wow. That is huge, first it's of all. massive, and yes, very rightfully so. Yeah. Price TBD. TBD. That is incredible. That is a lot of detail. And look at the veins in his feet. That boy is a vascular. They put a lot of attention into the uh, the Satsui no Hado uh, fireball up there. Look at that. Ooh. I kind of want that. I'd put it just like in my hallway as people enter. That would be cool. Oh, look at that Ami. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, this is how they get me. They release so Okami, they release so Okami Den. Amy's in, uh, she's in a fighting game, isn't she? She's yeah, she's in Marvel vs. Capcom Marvel 3. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And then Very they, good for they, juggling. They give me nothing. They give me nothing <laughs> for one of my favorite games uh, of all yeah. time for years. And then they just release a statue that I want. 
They've got some uh, Razer, these uh, hit boxes, snack boxes. So if you're not, uh, if you're into fighting games and you want the, uh, you don't want the stick, you want the, the hit box style layout. Good option there for you. Yep. Um, yeah. Good Capcom booth. Pending approval. Pending, Pending approval. approval. On Pending approval. Uh, over there is the Street Fighter setups. Big queues. Um, folks playing Rashid. Oh no, folks not playing Rashid. We got a Ryu fighting a Guile on one screen. Yeah, we got a JP fighting a Ken. And uh, it looks like a Kimberly on the end there. There is a new character, and yeah, people are playing old characters. You know, classic. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Only seventy-five made, valued at uh, seventeen hundred dollars. Wow. Entered to win. He's, he's he looks a exactly big boy. like I look when I haven't eaten all day, and then Uber eats a meal to my hotel room at 1 a.m. That, that is the exact face I'm making. Wow. Yeah. So that's a raffle you can enter to win, <laughs> and then obviously yes, we oh, have cool. a lot of Marvel. Six, six in a big grand. Yeah, Nicole. you want a six grand Chris Hemsworth in your apartment? <laughs> I mean, if I was going to splash out on any of these, yeah. it would obviously be the giant Hulk. Um, I just don't think there's space in my apartment for no, him. No, I would yeah, definitely. I'll clear some out. If I had to get one, I'm 100% going for that Wiley Coyote. <laughs> All right, should we head to the most dangerous part? There's a whole stall of ocarinas just off to our left. A man is dutifully playing the ocarina. Yeah. Some uh, video games, uh, more retro systems over there. You can buy a NES or an NES to my American friends. Is that allowed? Nope. Red Hood Comics? That That's allowed? what I'm saying. I love, I love that people just, you know, yeah, All's fair in uh, yeah. love and nerdism, Culture. but they, uh, yeah. yeah. Can you call it Red Red Hood Comics? Yeah. Can you use the Can Toy Story logo? Yeah. I'm not snitching. Nope. Get that bag. Yeah. Aha! The mystery boxes. Oh, don't be tricked by them. I mean, if there was an Okami one, no, we're safe. Think about we're it. safe. There is a Cowboy Bebop one, though. There's a Cowboy Bebop one, Demon Slayer... Attack there isn't Titan. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so we're fine. I see fine. a Prince Zuko over there. But yeah. If you want to drop $50 on... For uh, potentially... Mysterious products. Yeah. We know a couple of people that have and left. Yeah. Very upset. Oh my god. Is that Gary Larson? Where? So I grew up on the far side. My dad had every oh. single far side book collection. I would read those despite not really understanding them. If this is Gary Larson, I might genuinely have to get something signed from my dad. But is I don't know Gary what he looks Larson? like. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. It is not. No. But I mean, okay. Let's keep it going. I don't there think. Is I don't think G. Lar is here. I think no. he's just. I mean, you know. Charles Schultz is obviously not here. But uh, yeah, thank you for permitting me that little walk around because it's my dad's 70th birthday and if I could have got him assigned Gary Larson, I think I would finally be the favorite child. But not today. <laughs> also that guy just walked past and went British. Carried on walking. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Should I be yeah, worried? I mean. What are the British doing at Comic-Con? The British are here. Bringing our tea. Yeah. All right. I thought he was talking to me for a second, and I was. You are wearing uh, green. I was like, damn. I know I've been to two boxing classes, <laughs> but didn't expect to see results that quickly. Someone FaceTime in the family member there. There was someone walking around with a big sign oh, yeah. that didn't say, it, it said free, it looked like free hugs, but it actually, it was the word hugs rearranged and Fred just said free earth. <laughs> <laughs> you just go up to them and be like, can I get one? He's like, ugh. That's Guys, good, I like that a lot. Love that. Oh, these oh, are that's cool. very nice. Very nice and stylized. I like that a lot. We are approaching Artist Alley. Very slowly very approaching slowly. Artist Alley. Quite surely. You, 
but my feet hurt. My feet are screaming at me to stop. <laughs> I think he gets that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we still got loads to go. Yeah, I was gonna be like, yeah, we're almost an artist alley. We're not. It's so far away. Oh, we could get some shots of the Alex Alex Ross stuff because it go is. Grab some shots of the Alex Ross art. Stunning. Every time he tweets out a new piece of artwork. Oh, look at that X Men. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. My kingdom for a single piece of Alex Ross art. I did look into how much owning an uh, original Alex Ross would be, and it's very expensive. Oh, of course. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, shit. There it is, the kingdom come. The iconic kingdom come artwork. I did not know it was actually here, but yeah. Oh, look at that. That's number 195 of 395. Damn. Signed Alex Ross art. Ooh. It's an investment. It's like Beanie Babies, you know? Yeah. Oh, the Batman. Oh, the Batman. Uh, get me out of it. All right. Alex Ross is also a good follow on, on Twitter. Or other social networks. He constantly posts his artwork, which is a delight. So we are almost at Artist Alley. There's a bunch of cool stuff over here. We've got obviously Toei, uh, Bandai with Sandland. They had a screening of the movie, I believe last night. Yeah. There, sorry. There's Konami, not with Metal Gear, but they no. do have a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. You can turn yourself into a Yu-Gi-Oh card here at Comic-Con if you want to brave that line. Uh, Square Enix. Obviously, they're riding uh, on the success, on the high of the release of Final Fantasy 16. If you want, there is an Ifrit photo opportunity, which um, I have already done. Yeah. Tam and I did that at it's, the Final Fantasy yeah, 16 pre-launch thing. From Summer Games Fest. Yeah. Um, but obviously, they do have the figures. They have the There's toggle. Toggle over there. Everything pairs pre-order. Yeah. You can see back of Tidus and Yuna there. Yeah. We got a bunch of stuff from Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. We got Sidolphus, Garuda, Ifrit. Yeah. There's a Ifrit boy figure. Clive. Hey, the whole gang. They got Benedicta, Hugo, Shiva. I love it. <laughs> to Nickelodeon, Good Smile. Uh, Tamagotchi, when you went looking, Tamagotchi's made a resurgence, and they're here at Comic-Con. I had a Tamagotchi and it died within two days. Uh, William Shatner has a documentary, I hope it's about him. Hmm. That's very interesting, I would love to know. I, I would love to watch that documentary, actually. I think my favorite Shatner story is uh, when he was being directed on something, and the director was kind of giving him notes, and Shatner goes, don't tell me how to do my job, it sickens me. <laughs> Which is uh, something that I like to bring to my everyday. <laughs> Kidding. Doctor Who, we've got the 14th, is the 14th Doctor Who coming out? Who? This man. Who? This Doctor oh. Who. Doctor Who. Uh, A British icon. British icon. We've got the 15th Doctor, sorry, the 15th Doctor's outfit. We've got the outfit of the 14th Doctor too. We've got the sonic, sonic screwdriver. screwdriver. Nickelodeon, we've got some Avatar The Last Airbender. Just spotted my first and only Pickle Rick. Yeah, there isn't actually a lot of... Uh, I was expecting more Rick and Morty. It feels like over the past few years, they've definitely uh, taken over a lot Fall of these off. conventions. There's always been a Rick, there's always a Morty, there's always a Pickle Rick. Hulu has a big booth. 
showing off the handmaid's tail. Not the cheeriest of shows. Yeah, I'm not sure if I um, <laughs> want to be. But they're showing it off here on the show floor, as well as a bunch of their animated stuff. We've got Futurama coming back. Hell Great yeah. North, Bob's Burgers. Great North. But this, this is where the magic happens down here. It's not a bedroom like in MTV Cribs, but it is Artist's Alley. Artists from all over the world come to San Diego Comic Con, show off their wares, sell prints. There's a huge Funko booth, which is where Mondo is. Tam and I will be hitting that booth up later because we are going to get made into Funko Pops. I'm very excited for that. Oh, they've got an Udon booth. Oh, awesome. no. Udon, obviously, publishers of a lot of really cool comics. Yeah. Especially the Street Fighter ones. Yep. Street emojis, looking like at little pins of Street Fighter characters and Capcom characters down there. Like Mega Man. Oh, no, they have a Kami. We're coming back this way so that I can get that. We've lost Tam. It was bound to happen. He's found Elden Ring, that's why. Tam, what we're looking at? It's the Elden Ring art book, volume two. I have volume one. Bonds and Noble exclusive. Yeah, Grow but up. then this Bonds is the Udon store exclusive box set too. Oh. We it's can come back this way. We can come back this way. Let me way. just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, give me a second one, okay? There you, there you go. All right. We're good. We're good. Don't be taking our credit card information because we will likely be buying stuff. A cool one hundred nineteen dollars. Yeah. Straight to Miyazaki's pocket. I hope. Are these cells? Oh man. Cells interlinked. Oh, these are actual cells. Yeah. Metropolis, Sailor Moon. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, there's a slam dunk. Oh, this is cool. I'd love to get a cell from something. Yeah. What else do they have? Well, got a lot. They have yeah, a bunch of like, these folders. Yeah, yeah. In the office, we actually have uh, cells from the original Ghostbusters yep. animation, which is very cool. That's a real piece of history there. I would love to see if they've got any Bebop, but Bebop will probably be horrendous expensive. No though. chance. Yeah, there's absolutely no, no chance. Shot. No shot. There's I a am, Cowboy Bebop cell just at. Comic -Con. I am going into debt, yeah. looking, just even looking at those, even thinking about those. I feel like Frogger. <laughs> I feel like Frogger just like trying to weave in and out and not get hit by the yeah. human cars. Uh, the, the thing is as well, it's like I genuinely just don't know where to start. Is that JoJo's but on the cover of a cereal packet? Oh yeah. Uh, oh no, we've got Zeno Marshmallows. There's Metal Gear. Ooh, Metal, uh, I need that. Green. We've got Totoro, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Death, Death Oats. Death very Oats good is instead very of Death Note. Good. Love it. That's good punning. Some great JoJo stuff there. Warner Studios. Oh, there's a Borg. Some Seven of Nine. Is that Buffy? Oh, Buffy and Angel. Tomb Raider. It's pronounced Laura. Stop saying Laura. Yeah, America, we love living here, but every time you say Laura Croft... Kills us a little bit inside. I think less of you. She's our real queen. Laura. Respect her. There's no you in there. We made it. We made it. Artists, welcome to Artist Alley. I can see Mondo from here. I can see Funkoville. There is a child screaming. A child. That's how I feel. There is uh, choice paralysis. Oh, wow. 
Oh man, I genuinely just don't know where to begin. I don't even know if there's room for us no, to walk No, I don't think down. we're gonna have to just look at it from the side. I feel like if you go into any of these aisles, you are not coming back out. Yeah, you will not come out. You're stuck there for life. You are, you become an artist. Um, okay, well, already I've seen a problem is that I can see a really amazing berserk. Yeah, there's a berserk. Thing over yeah. there, so oh. we'll come back for that. We'll come back. Snapshot. Well, look Location at all of marked it. in my head. We got special guests on Artist Alley too. Yeah, this is uh, down there. This is where I usually get lost. Like I just like looking at really nice art. This is usually where I have an anxiety attack because yeah. there's too many people. In a good way. In a good way. This is like IRL deviant art. It's lots of nice art, but way too many people doing weird shit. Okay, freedom. Honestly, I was expecting us to get cornered a lot more. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Let's walk it. We can. I feel like this is a we'll little bit bigger. There, Let's yeah. walk down this way. And then head out. Special guest section. Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna attempt to go through this. Oh, some awesome Batman. Oh. Prince over there. Oh, he's. It's Raphael Grandpa. Oh man. My oh, some Invincible. Is when yeah. My favorite thing is when you're just like looking at random artwork and suddenly see the name of who's attached and you're like, oh! Oh, Nerf Alice! Yeah, Nerf Alice is here. <laughs> and it's like someone either very famous or someone you know. Yeah. Which is the case... With Nerf Alice. In terms of Nerf Alice. God. I would give anything for a crumb of the talent they have. Just a crumb of it. Damn. All right. So this is where a bunch of like the uh, super special guests hang out. Yeah, look Artists. at that. I mean, this is the Tom Taylor line. Yeah, the and Tom it's Taylor going line's there. All yeah. the way down there. Tom Taylor, as you know. Batman. Very Got things. Lee Weeks. Lee Weeks is here. Who else have we got? So, oh my god. We did it, we braved the halls of San Diego Comic Con 2023. It feels like we were walking around in there for about an hour and I yeah. feel as if we saw maybe a quarter less than of what is actually on offer. Huge show again this year in terms of everyone in there. So much to see and do. Mm. I'm gonna go back to Artists Alley. Yeah. I think I'm going to go and find that Elden Ring book and some of that Berserk stuff mm -hmm. weighed back in. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a really cool place to be in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of good vibes. Solid People vibes. seem to be very respectful and mm -hmm. very chill about everything. Truly a fan experience. Yes. A delightful one. It's Jova. It's Jova. It's Jova for us. We did see again a Trump t-shirt earlier. So. Yeah, we did see it. That was alarming. Yeah. Um, have we talked about our unhinged viewing? I can't remember what we talked about. Did we talk about? Unhinged viewing? Uh, unhinged celeb spotting. Oh, uh, I can't remember if we talked we about it. McIntyre. Yeah. Michael McIntyre, British comedian, which was, was unexpected. Inescapable about 15 years ago. Yeah. He was right over here. Yeah. Um, so the Corey Polka Feldman. Man. Corey Feldman. Polka Dot Guy. So the Polka Dot Guy from Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. And also Blade Runner 2049. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, we saw. Chastity's panel. She killed it. She smashed it. We Dolls had a uh, Dolwood. We did have a Dolwood. We mixed pineapple and mango. Oh no, we filmed that. We were like, go yeah. to treat. Yeah, no, I'm just recapping oh, it Oh, well, that's our day. Oh, right, That's right. the entire day. Um, Saw that cool board game. Cool, that cool board game, yeah. Still thinking about that. You um, talked to Harada. I spoke to, I interviewed Harada, yeah. That was good. Um, and now we're just like walking back to the Aimlessly. hotels. Slowly. My feet. My feet really hurt. Um, yeah. And we're gonna like, I would like to like maybe just sit down for a little while. I'm gonna be fully horizontal. horizontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna find somewhere for dinner. We're gonna have dinner with Chastity. Yeah. And then I hear tell there are plans for the fandom game sport giant bomb wrap to be at Margaritaville. Oh God. Uh, Why doesn't anyone ever hold a wrap party in a place it's like everyone go to sleep? Our wrap party is gonna be everyone going to sleep. I mean... Yeah. When 
I'm the CEO of a company, I'm just going to be like, hey everyone. Get a good night. Everyone go sleep. sleep. I'm finally losing my voice. It's going. Um, I think we're going to end it there. Yeah. We hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with us. Yeah. Um, hopefully we'll get to do another one soon. I mean, I know we're going to do another one soon. Probably. Because yeah, we'll, yeah. be <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there. I mean, we're literally going to be there. We're going to be on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.